The Quakers were implicated in the slave trade. They were some of the biggest financiers of the slave trade. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, this is how commerce worked. Lots of business came through the city of Philadelphia, and that included all of the major items that would have been traded at a port like this. China, gold, silver, and of course, the dreaded human beings. Ben Franklin, William Penn, they owned slaves. Everybody was doing it. And you know, these things get normalized in the world. And if you can do this, you can enslave someone. If you can deny their humanity, if you can undefine them as a human being. And indeed, this is what enslavement was about. It was about undefining the African as a human being. And if you do that, then the African is part of the other chat. And we have a waste book. And you look in that waste book, and it'll say one cow, three Negro men, four Negro girls, a plate, four Sally. You see, so this kind of uh, dehumanizing, disrespect for the integrity of human life, which is a necessary part of enslavement, would allow people who were otherwise for uh, what we would think of as great human values, but they were not. That's why I think the contradiction is easy, as long as you believe that the African is not a human being.